everyone, and thanks again for joining. Um, we're gonna talk about the Meridian Product Suite and how it can help higher ed facilities organizations um, collaborate, create a single point of truth, and organize their documents, most importantly of all. A little bit of administrative things at the beginning. Hagerman and Company, that's us, Ashley and I. Um, our company has been in business for 36 plus years. Um, it's been a small business and women owned. We have offices all over the country. We have 26 years or more of data management and document management experience with many customers um, successfully implemented. And we also offer multiple systems, not just Meridian. <clears throat> Accruent is the vendor of, for the product, Meridian. They, they are the writers and owners and creators. And they have many platforms as well to make um, facility systems streamline their um, business processes across the board. But today we're just gonna talk about one product and that's Meridian. I spoke about many customers um, worldwide. These are Meridian customers and a lot of these are Hagerman customers, um, higher ed specific. Um, you might see some of your yours on this screen, Princeton um, being one of them. And I thought I had Texas, Austin, USC, lots of them. The agenda for today, today's webinar, I'm gonna do an overview of Meridian um, as a whole, and then we're gonna deep, go a little bit deeper into each product. Um, we're gonna talk about Explorer, mobile, um, power, and portal, and then a brief little blurb about the, uh, the maintenance system integration that is capable with Meridian. And then of course, we're gonna have time for some questions and answers at the end. Some of the basic features of Meridian is that you create a secure document vault, so you can save all of your documents in one place. Um, you can check them in and check them out. You can keep track of who's doing that. It controls revisions um, and keeps a history of the revisions and who made the changes. There's um, CAD integration as well as other applications. Um, you can do all file types in Meridian. You can save almost everything. Um, videos might be a little quirky, but everything else can go into Meridian and you can work on it from there. There's an ease of searching in Meridian, so you can always find what you want from a variety of avenues. There's viewing and redlining capability within the software, so that if you're a viewer only and you wanna make a comment on a document, you can. There's some customizable workflow with email notifications available if you have things that need to be routed for approvals, um, or if there's some um, document checking that has to happen before maybe a CAD um, file has been updated as a master. There's web access. This is important nowadays, um, very important for higher ed university customers who have suddenly found themselves working remotely. There's some web access options that make working a little bit easier. System integration with other systems, I should say that. Um, we can integrate with other systems, the CMMS, project management systems, um, various items. And it has multi-state capabilities, the way that Meridian is configured. Um, you can go through the web and access from other sites. If you have other locations, other campuses that are remote, they can all use the same system. <clears throat> Meridian is, is generally a document management system. It is not a project management system, although you can use it to streamline some of, some of your project's um, workflows, which is the support for projects bullet. Um, you can have separation of as-built and project copies of things. Um, they support concurrent engineering. Most universities don't do a lot of in-house design or engineering, but Meridian has the capabilities to do so. If you have a floor plan that has two remodels and two two different sections and you're doing the in-house design, you can copy those out to projects and then have them come back um, and track where it's being worked on. There's great, great collaboration with outside parties in this system. Um, there's a transmittal capability with a cloud-based collaboration tool um, and it can seamlessly migrate documents between Power, Meridian Power, which some of you know is Power User, and the portal for collaboration and importing of documents faster. And there's the linking of documents to related assets. Um, there's a couple ways that Meridian does this well. You can do it with metadata or you can do it with tagging. 
so that people can find documents related to assets. You can see um, that there, where the final drawings are, where documents are, and projects and work in process files easily. You can tell when someone's working on something other than just the box when you try to open it that says read only. It's great for both your office staff and your operations personnel in the field. Um, there's great collaboration tools there. Your internal staff and external contracts and contractors and engineers can collaborate using the portal. It makes it a lot easier to track document packages, um, maybe submittals, review packages on large projects. And then it's easy to find equipment and asset records and related all the files related to those in Meridian. Some of the benefits for, Mer for using Meridian on a campus, um, no matter the size of the campus or the staff, is that everyone's on the same page. It creates a single point of truth. You can combine and integrate multiple systems and solutions. So if you have a maintenance management system, such as Famous, for your work orders, we can integrate that into Meridian so that you can reference work orders and assets through there. You can also link to other project management systems um, and pull project information. And also, you can link to um, pull in documents from those systems. It reduces the costly errors um, that you run into when someone doesn't know what the latest and greatest maybe set of drawings is, um, or there's multiple copies. You eliminate buying the wrong parts for your field personnel. If they're out in the field and they need to repair something, they can easily search and find um, the manuals for those pieces of equipment and whether or not they're on, under warranty. You can improve compliance and safety. A lot of universities keep their evacuation maps updated in Meridian, and that way um, they know that they're, they're being safe and compliant with those regulations. And there's various other options for use there, with, such as EH&S um, for compliance and safety regulations. You reduce downtime and maintenance costs. So when something does go down in the field, um, an AHU on a research building maybe, you can reduce the downtime by streamlining your on-site finding those documents to find out what you need to do to fix those rather than go back and forth or someone just fixing things the wrong way the first time. Um, you streamline the end of project handover. This is a big topic for universities and, and higher ed institutions. When you have a project, a big building that has closeout, it's really tough to get all the documents you need at closeout. You can use these tools to help streamline that process. And again, cut project time and errors with having the latest and greatest available and ready every time you access the system. Meridian's really flexible. There's a variety of ways the servers can be located on premise. They can be located in your company data center, and they can also be on a hosted cloud server. Um, so there's, there's options there for your servers. Um, the Meridian clients have flexibility as well. Um, they can be desktop based and they're browser-based, and they can be on mobile devices. Um, and we'll go through all of those and how they work when we talk about the products. Not gonna read everything on this slide, but there's a lot of unique Meridian features. Um, some of the best ones for higher ed that they, they tend to like a lot is some of the, the mobile device support, which we talked about, the built-in viewing capability of documents so that you don't have to download and have the native application. There's lots of data attached to all of the documents so that you can capture what you need and be able to search on that. I'll pause for a second so you can peruse the slide. You can read it at length when you get your copy as well. Now to the meat and potatoes of the presentation, the actual product. We're gonna be discussing the Meridian Enterprise Solution. It's an installed solution, which includes the products called Portal, Explorer, Power, and Mobile. Not necessarily in that order, but those are the four products that are part of the enterprise system. Universities can pick and choose, you can pick and choose which ones you want. There's different license models. So if you just need Power, you can just buy Power. If you want Explorer, Mobile comes along for the ride. If you want also portal that's when we do the enterprise solution that's the whole package but you can do them independently if you need to meridian is end-to-end -end control of information you have your document management which is your single point of truth you have your projects your management of change basically you're saving um, various versions of things 
projects and current engineering hand over to operations at the end of a project. And your asset related information is also in there so that you can tag asset equipment information to say O&M manuals. And there's collaborative engineering. So this is kind of the whole package that a lot of um, university facilities management groups struggle to do all of them well in one place, but we can, we can solve those problems. With Meridian Power, this is your working area. This is where your documents are stored. This is the contributors or the project managers, archivists, things like that, are using this system to import the data and the documents. The published info, those documents that are considered published or um, not working files, are viewable in Meridian Explorer. This is for the consumers. It's a web-based version, browser-based system where you can easily search the documents that are in power. Then you have your external collaboration, which is the portal piece, and it ties directly with Meridian Power. And you can have outside consultants and contractors or um, other stakeholders on campus have access to this to transfer documents back and forth. And then you have your maintenance system links um, that, that we can implement as well. First, we'll talk about Meridian Explorer. This is for consumers. So these are the people that don't need to work on the documents, but like to view the documents or are searching for the documents view via the web. It's a web-based, um, browser-based system, excuse me. And there's an easy to read dashboard that gets configured. Um, it's perfect for searching, viewing, downloading, and printing. And it's, it's fairly easy to use and configure on your own. There's different search types in Explorer. So when you go to hit the search button, you can do it by navigation views or properties. Um, again, it's all based on what's in power. Your searches can be saved. And you can only you can set it so that you can only see final documents, um, released or approved documents, and you don't see anything that's in progress. You can also see the PDF renditions. Um, Meridian has the capability in power to save a PDF rendition of the file so that it provides easier viewing. And um, when you down, you can download just the PDF and see that you don't have to have AutoCAD or Word or whatever the native application is. There's also a built-in document viewer that you can use within this. So you can highlight the file and view it right there on the screen. Explorer also has the capability um, of allowing the users to comment and redline on documents as they see them. Um, if they see an error, they can comment on that and they can attach pictures to them as well in Explorer. Um, this can add a, a simplified level of collaboration between ops folks and uh, maybe the engineering department or the field, the, the design and construction group. It's kind of a handy tool to have. Meridian Mobile. This comes along, as I mentioned, this kind of comes along for the ride with Explorer. Meridian Mobile is configured within Explorer so that you can search on your mobile device. You can search on a tablet, you can search on a phone, um, you can set it up so you can scan barcodes and QR codes and it will run a query and retrieve documents that way um, based on that information. You can also set up searches um, for specific pieces of equipment um, similar to Explorer. Um, it's a really handy thing to have in the field so that your boots on the ground always have access to the most current documents. Meridian Power. This is the meat and potatoes of the software. This is where the documents live. This is where people work on the documents. So this is contributors and editors. It's a web client. Meridian Power, it can also be used on the desktop, but it's moving away from that and it will be um, soon be only a web-based option. This is great for working remotely. Um, it's a single sign-on if you're a Meridian uh, or a <clears throat> have access to Meridian. The security is similar to power user. You can set up roles and groups and set security that way based on um, what you can and cannot see, what you can and cannot work on, similar um, to how you can do um, Windows Explorer permissions. There's various navigation views that could be configured in this, in this system so that it's a virtual folder structure. So once you have your configuration set up, you can set up different ways to view the files in a 
virtual folder structure that makes sense for the user. Um, you can do a quick search of documents. It's fairly simple to just kind of search for what you need based on metadata properties for a certain building per se, or um, project manager, or any of the information that is captured in your data. There's also advanced search capabilities, um, just like most software where you can really go hog wild and say, I want this building and this building, or this discipline or this discipline. You can do a, a, a search that way as well. You can keep your master documents or your sustaining floor plans, um, whatever your organization maintains as the um, most current and recent snapshots of the building or, or the site or any of the, the pieces and parts that go with that. It's you can manage who makes the changes to those documents, um, how they get updated in the system. And then you can always see the revision history and see what has changed over time within there, which I'll talk about in a second. So you have master files in your system for one building. So you have a floor plan that you're maintaining, um, floor number one on building 42 or whatever. And you wanna see what changes have been made since you put the, the first one into the system. There's an easy revision history button that you can push and see what all of those are. And you can even view these um, in the system. So that's kind of nice if you want to see what, why this was released or what changed, you can see the differences. It maintains re the reference history, not only CAD reference XREFs, which is the common, most common use, but you can create references between documents as well. You can link them together and see what goes together. Um, so you can tag your, your, maybe your floor plan that has the layout for the equipment room to the o and that relate to that equipment room. You can manage project copies. This is usually used um, when you're doing in-house design with those masters to projects concepts and seeing where things are being worked on. Um, you can see that you have a master floor plan, you're doing in some in-house design in two other places. You can configure best practice workflow. So if you have CAD files or um, maybe contracts that you're saving in Meridian and they need to be routed for approval, um, you can set this up in Meridian um, as long as the parties that need to approve are Meridian users. Most common is um, drawing approval when you have um, maybe students are helping pick up red lines after a project is complete and you want someone to make sure that they did those red lines correctly, you set it up so that there's a step in between them releasing it as a final approved document so that you can review or send back for more work. Project, the Meridian portal, um, provides project collaboration with outside vendors or consultants or stakeholders, non-Meridian users, in other words. It's not simply a Dropbox or a SharePoint folder where you just drop things um, and, and people go pick them up. It's a collaboration tool. In most cases, you set up a document controller that kind of manages the system. Um, they set up a project team, which can be internal and external, and then your contractors and vendors and it also ties directly to, can tie directly to Meridian Power for the, trans, the transmittal of documents back and forth. There's an easy to read project dashboard and you can manage project team members. So if you have a um, new building that you're building and you wanna set this up, you can add people that you need to in here and give them permission to do certain tasks and see certain things. After you submit something for a contractor, they get an email notifying them that they've received something in the portal and they click open and it takes them to a sign on and they can log in using Microsoft or Google account. Um, if they're Meridian users, they, it doesn't take them to the login page, it signs them in automatically. So you manage who gets invited and who can use the system that way. When you upload packages to the portal for um, 
for others. You can upload the native and the rendition at the same time. So you can upload the CAD and the PDF um, into the system. Um, it makes it handy if, if somebody needs to make CAD changes, if you're collaborating that way, or if someone just simply needs to have the PDF and to view it. It also validates references when you upload from, from Power. If there are draw, other drawings referenced to the drawing you're uploading, it will ask you if you want to include them. So that's kind of handy when you're sending a file and you're unaware that there's an XREF from somewhere else included in there. Um, you might, your document controller might not know that, and it saves time in saves time by including that for you, so you don't have to go find it again and then help people um, put the XREFs back together. It also pays attention to whether it's a new um, document in Portal or a new revision or a, an update to a current revision. So it's smart enough to know, based on the, the workflow that's in here, what type of a document it is um, coming back and forth. There's a common data model in the system. So they, the contractor, if the contractor has to upload a package without you starting the process, they come in here, they upload, and they have to fill a sheet out, which is based on your metadata properties, so that they're doing the work for you. They fill it out, they say what sheet number, you configure this to be what you want it to be. It makes it handy um, that because they know their documents, they know what they're uploading, they can fill it out first, saves you time, and project handover happens a little bit faster. Compliance checking. There's some compliance checking configuration that can happen in Portal. Um, you can set the criteria for this, and it will automatically check when something is uploaded whether or not it meets what you want it to meet. It'll also tell them, you know, your references are missing if the, if the system knows that there's an XREF. One of the best pieces about Portal is that it's a collaborative review tool as well. You can review right in the portal. Um, people can, you can set it up so that there's reviewers and approvers. And they can go in and they can mark up the, the PDF on the screen and it saves it in the portal. And you can go back and forth and collaborate with ease. No downloading of documents, um, no uploading of documents. You can do it right there. And then whoever you set as the lead reviewer, if you will have, um, if they have other people under them, you can set it up so that the lead reviewer or maybe the prime architect or whoever's in charge is the one that finalizes this whole package. And then that's the one that you get notified of when you set the timelines and the requirements. When you get those packages, you can choose um, which, which responses that you want to approve or you can approve all of them and it, it keeps it within the data. Um, on portal, so there's easy tracking and accountability of who said what and who approved which pieces. The audit trail of activity, so you can see um, what's been happening to a package after you've uploaded it, um, who's downloaded it, who's looked at it, viewed it, it keeps that whole trail. There's maintenance system integration available within Meridian. Um, some of the the one that I will show um, here in a minute is an example from SAP. But you can link your assets to your drawings. Um, if you have CAD files that you're saving as masters that have equipment numbers on them, there's a, a piece of this that can tag those um, equipment records by scanning the drawing and picking up the text and you verifying that yes, those are the right tags. Or you can do it with metadata. Um, that's the most common way we have implemented the system. But from your SAP system, here's an example. Um, there's a button that you can configure within SAP that will run a query based on the equipment you are viewing. So if you are on a piece of equipment in SAP, you can push this button and it will run a query in Meridian Explorer and retrieve all the documents that are related to that piece of equipment. You can also get at it from Explorer or mobile by um, querying the equipment number or scanning the QR code or barcode. Kind of zipped through that in the essence of time. 
um, if there's any questions, um, I'd be happy to take a stab at answering them. Um, or if you need me to revisit a slide or two, we can do that as well. I don't see right, anything I'm, coming in, Jennifer. I don't either. <laughs> we'll give it a couple more seconds here. While we're waiting, I will let you know that you, um, um, if you have just additional questions later, that you can simply reply to that confirmation or reminder email that you receive from GoToWebinar and we can get those to Jennifer or your sales rep to get your questions answered. And I'll also remind you that you will receive an email tomorrow um, with a recording for today's presentation. And I don't see anything else coming in. So thank you Jennifer for the presentation today. Thank you everyone for attending. And I see someone asking about training on training. YouTube. I don't, I don't think we have training available on YouTube um, through Hagerman, but we do have a variety of webinars that are saved. Um, yes, that's correct. We yeah. post all of our webinars to um, our YouTube channel. So um, you can find any past um, webinar on any topic, but as this topic as well um, there. And also on the on-demand section of our web website as well. Okay, well, thank you, Jennifer. And thank you for attending everyone. We'll close, go ahead and close down today, but thanks a lot, have a great day.